Hi, um, so on the 30th we talked about um, learning and the ability to manage it and change because change is already a constant, um, as well as the difference between good and bad stress. Um, when we're experiencing bad stress, we typically tend to lay blame on others instead of accepting um, our own actions and behaviors. And you think that stress doesn't actually exist, that it's a choice, uh, that you're kind of like within the eye of the tornado. From this lecture, I thought, um, I just was reading a book for another class and it talks about, actually, this is not relevant. Disregard, just kidding. Okay. And, um... <laughs> A bit more on bad stress, the uh, actual psychoneuroimmunology is the literal physical effect on the body that your stress can have. Um, so if you're really stressed out, of course, having a bad time all the time, uh, that can have neg negative effects on your body. And that also goes in the other way. If you are feeling great, um, if you're, for say, like very um, looking forward to your surgery or something, um, you have a higher chance of surviving that surgery or having better uh, things go with that surgery than if you were scared for that surgery. So yeah, that just like goes into hand with that mental rehearsal prepares us for the action. So, um, like Shane said, if we're feeling positively about something, it is likely to have a positive outcome um, or be like less stressful for us. Um, and then today we talked about the, what was it? The pain matrix? Yeah, the pain matrix in the brain and uh, the different ways that uh, people see other people and the way that empathy works. Uh, so the way that empathy works is um, the same part in the brain um, activates as when you see pain and when you experience pain. Um, and basically that's just saying that you're getting put in this, like your brain puts yourself uh, in the same situation that you see, like a simulation or like a dream maybe. Um, and that way, um, you can feel what you're seeing, so. Great, and then also, um, we have like the social aspect that can trigger the, the pain matrix as well. So um, being left out of activities or like feeling like an afterthought from someone else that you care about um, pushes that or activates it, so.